if you were to die today and stand before God, and He would say, why should I let you into my heaven? What would your answer be? If it would be because I was baptized, or because I've never hurt anyone, or I've done the best I could, or maybe I was a pretty good person, or I never missed a Sunday school in 50 years. I went to church all my life. I've done charitable work. I've given money to charities. I've given money to churches. None of them would be the correct answer. God would say, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. Now you might think, Aaron, how can you know that? How can you say that? They're all good things that I've done. Well, the truth is, our core nature is a sinful nature, and we're sinners. And in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 tells us, For grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. First, let's look at the word grace. For grace ye are saved through faith. Grace is God's unmerited favor. It's something that I don't deserve. I don't deserve salvation. But He gives it to me through faith. Through faith in what? Faith that Jesus Christ died for my sins. He was buried and God raised Him from the dead. It's a gift of God, not of works. You know, when Jesus died on the cross, one of His last words was, it is finished. He paid your sin debt in full. He paid a debt that you could never pay. You're spiritually bankrupt. There's nothing you could do to pay your own debt but could go to hell for all eternity. It's the only way you could pay your own debt. God didn't want you to go to hell. He sent Jesus Christ to die in your place. Jesus was God's gift. You can't work for a gift. You can't earn a gift. You don't deserve a gift half the time. Jesus paid for your gift of eternal life. Not of works, it says, lest any man should boast. So if you would stand before God and God say, why should I let you into my heaven? And you would say, well, I was a pretty good person. I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. Then you're adding to what Jesus did. He said it's finished. It's not Jesus plus anything. It's not Jesus plus good works. Jesus plus baptism. Jesus plus going to church. The Bible doesn't say that. It's Jesus only. You're placing your faith and your trust completely into Jesus Christ. You know, if I would go to sit down in a chair, when I get to a certain point, I just kind of fall into it. I'm trusting that chair to hold me up. I don't doubt it. I don't even think about it. I just sit in a chair. I believe in it. I trust in it. I trust that it's going to hold me up. And that's what you're doing with Jesus. You're placing your faith and trust in Him. That when you die, He's going to hold you up. You're not going to fall into hell. He's going to take you to to be with God in the heaven. Paul said that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So it's by grace you are saved through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. If I add anything to Jesus, I stand before God in heaven, then I have something to brag about. Lord, look what I did. I did this, I did that. Gave money to church, I fed the needy, the poor, the hungry, gave them clothes. I got something to brag about. You don't have nothing to brag about before God because if you try to brag before God, He's going to say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. My son died in your place. My son died for your sin debt. 
these guys cut down a tree that I grew and nailed my son to them. You whipped them, you beat them, you spit on them, you stabbed them in the side, you mocked them, you hung them naked from a tree. He died for you because I love you and he loves you. My son willingly died to pay your sin debt. That's it. That's the only way. I encourage you to place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ right now. If you know in your heart, which I know you know, you're a sinner. Maybe you lied, maybe you stole, maybe you committed adultery, maybe you fornicated, maybe you're a homosexual. I don't know, but you know what you've done in your heart. God gave you a conscience. You know you sinned. And you know that Jesus Christ was God in the flesh and He died for your sin dead. He came to earth to die in your place. And you know that Jesus was raised from the dead. He defeated sin and death. I encourage you to place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ right now. I'm going to pray a prayer. You can pray along. This prayer won't save you, but if you confess to God from your heart that this is what I believe, God, He'll give you the gift of eternal life. Today is the day of salvation. Let's pray together. Dear God in heaven, I want to confess to you that I'm a sinner and cannot save myself. Forgive me of all my sin. And dear Jesus, come into my heart and save me. For I want to confess with my mouth that I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and that He arose from the dead that I may be saved. I here and now personally receive you, Lord Jesus, as my Savior. Amen. If you met what you said to God, He means what He says to you. You're forgiven of all your sin, and you're born into the family of God. I'd like to welcome you into His family, and please contact us, and we'd like to send you some information on how you can grow in your newfound Christian faith.